Hi guys, so you remember this tutorial that I did a couple of days ago um, with the detailed Monarch uh, butterfly? So today we're going to do another butterfly tutorial except this one is going to be very loose. There won't be uh, a drawing underneath. We're just going to paint right on the paper just like how I do my loose florals. So to begin with, uh, I have my Canson sheet, watercolor sheet ready right here. Um, I'm going to be using some of the purple that I created previously from another painting session. I will use uh, two variations of like a dark blue and uh, I'm going to try and see if I can find the names of these but honestly guys it's just because it's such a loose tutorial I really would like to have you guys also kind of explore the colors you prefer and use them in your mixing as well. So I'm kind of doing a bright color and then like a dark color that can um, blend with it and then obviously the good old black. I need the black to go um, for the center. Uh, and if I can find the black, I don't seem to be seeing it. Let me see. Nope, oh, that's the brown. I honestly think maybe this is the black. Nope, that's the blue. Okay, you know what? I'll figure it out could even use this really dark blue as the black. We don't have to use a black black. So, okay, so for colors, I told you what I'm just using right now. I'm going to time lapse um, the rest of the butterflies because again, this is going to be a pattern. And um, so if I do it once, then you guys can kind of do more after. Uh, for brushes, I'm going to be using my Silver Black Velvet 4 and also my Princeton Neptune 8. And so it's really simple. What The first thing I'm going to do is using the number four. <clears throat> using the number four, I'm just going to get some of the purple and you really don't need a lot. That's the thing. Um, in fact, I think I should, yeah, no, it's fine. So I'm getting some of the purple and I'm going to create the first wing of the butterfly. And I'm just gonna go very loosely and create that shape. And bring it in. Then I want to add some of the blue just at the ends while it is still damp. So it kind of gives you that nice blendy effect. And then I'm going to go ahead and get some more purple. And then I'm going to create the bottom half. And you see how by me blending the two colors using the same brush, I have this like really nice variation of the pink purple that I've used up and the thing about these loose thing um, loose the, the loose style of butterflies is that you can kind of go over it and get the detail or the shape based on how you want it to be and you don't have to stress out about it not looking a certain way so I'm just adding some of the black, sorry, the blue on here. I'm gonna add some at the end over here too. And I'm leaving some white spaces on here, again, because I want it to be loose and I want it to be very romantic looking. Now using the same blue that I have going on over here, I'm gonna create the body of the butterfly. And again, it's a very loose rendition of this. So it doesn't have to be, I'm leaving white space again. And then I'm just gonna create the antennas. Very simply, without putting a lot of detail on it. 
So that's it. So that like that's more than half of it done. And now I'm going to go ahead and create the other side off it. And taking the rest of the purple that I have, I'm going to try and this might be a tricky part for a lot of people. I know it's tricky for me just trying to get the same shape and have the same um size but let's give it a go guys let's give it a go and i've stopped talking because i'm really concentrating on making sure that i get it as close as possible and I think I did a fairly decent job. What do you guys think? Let me know in your comments. I'm just going to add some detailing off to the side while it's still damp so it like spreads nicely. Right? And then I'm doing the same thing using the same blue, mixing with the purple. I'm going to create the lower half. And I want to drag the dark color inside, leaving the white spaces here and there, just like that. And I'm going to add some highlights. Of purple and then even the dark blue. And maybe for this one, I'll just give it a better high, like outline just because it's smudged a bit here. And that's essentially it. That's all that actually goes into doing this. And then if you want, you can add, if you want to stylize it a bit more, you can just kind of go ahead and add your my favorite. Wait, I don't have any color on this, do I? Here. Just add some of that and you're good in fact you know what I just realized I didn't even use the number eight because I just kind of went ahead and spread the color using the number four so essentially um, you don't really need to use the number eight my plan initially was to use uh, number four to kind of do the outline and then quickly go in with the number eight and spread it around but you might not even need it really so this is how you do it super simple super easy to do and now I'm just going to continue and do make it like a pattern. I'll use some other colors and I will make it a time lapse so you guys can see how this goes. All right, guys, so this is what I came up with. I used a couple of different colors and I just kind of spread them out and I like to do even numbers. So when I reached four, I said, mm, doesn't quite look good. So I put one in the corner there. So, yep, so this is how you do them. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is super easy, super fun. Um, and again, you're working on your techniques of blending. So as you can see over here, I put a little, uh, a tad bit too much water in there so it kind of overflowed but you know what I kind of actually like it so sometimes it's a mistake and sometimes it really works out in your favor so you just have to like try new things so thanks so much for watching guys please tell me in the comments what you thought of this uh, if you have questions or anything at all happy to answer I'm also on Facebook and Instagram please follow me there and if you enjoyed this, please do share this tutorial. Thanks so much, guys, for watching, and we'll chat soon. Bye.